Okay, so uh, rather than write out some very long instructions for the uh, automatic pistol, I thought I'd just do a short video to show you how it works, um, how to take it apart and uh, change the batteries and what all is in it. Um, this is the case, uh, it comes with some keys, and, uh, just a standard case. Uh, inside the lid here, uh, I've got a strap, one shoulder strap. Um, some silica gel to keep it uh, dry, and a little baggie with some parts. Um, so we've got some rubber bands, um, they'll be for the battery enclosure inside. And uh, this small sight piece, which is an optional part that um, I'll show you where that goes, and a um, 332nd inch uh, Allen key, and that will be used for taking it apart. Um, gun is inside. Uh, I have this extra little piece of foam in here to keep it from bouncing around. So, set that aside. And you can see everything fits in here real nicely. Nice and snug. And uh, looks kind of kind of nice. Um, so, uh, the magazines sort of slide out. Uh, and um, this, uh, you know, keeps everything in the uh, pretty safe condition and it'll probably ship like this as well. And uh, the gun itself I um, store in there with one of the magazines in it. Now um, there was no catch or uh, locking mechanism for the magazines um, to be locked in the gun. It's just a pressure fit. So anytime you're putting one in you gotta give it a little bit of a squeeze to keep it from sliding out. You definitely don't want to just put that in there lightly and then take your hand off of it because uh, it will likely fall out and get damaged. And, uh, so um, just to note, that is a kind of a pressure fit. So um, function of the gun, um, the um, trigger right here powers the laser on the front end and um, the batteries are contained inside this laser sight. There's a cord here that runs to the switch which is inside the actual body of the gun itself. It's inaccessible. Um, but everything else is, um, you know, it's all self-contained. Um, so uh, the slide here has a uh, spring-loaded slide. Now uh, I'm going to show you how to take that apart. Because um, so, you, know, you may need to get inside there, but um, you should know how this all works. So there's a pin in the back here. You need to poke uh, something through there and just slide it out. It's uh, just a little dowel rod that's been painted. Now this little piece in the back here that is keeping the spring inside pops right out. You'll see there's a little silver ball bearing that actually sticks to a magnet which is attached to this part. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it was intended to do but um, maybe it was some kind of a release mechanism but this is how it, I've assembled it. Um, so set that aside, set these parts aside. Now um, when you pop that up it's going to drop down the little firing pin and spring. Those come right out and then you can release the slide. So um, the slide comes out. Here is that little magnet that is also another part that removes. So you can actually strip this whole thing down kind of like an actual firearm and um, kind of nice to get the internal, you know, see the internal workings of the gun. Uh, what's kind of cool is that when you have a uh, magazine inside. You can see the bullet. When you slide that slide back, you can actually see it in the chamber. It's it's kind of neat. Um, so uh, one more note. Uh, well, I should show you how to disassemble um, the uh, laser sights in the front. Um, so there's a little wire connector right here. Now you want to just sort of wiggle that out. Don't put too much stress on the connector, just sort of pull on it and wiggle it out and disconnect that. Now in order to slide this forward, 
there is a screw on the front here. It actually is a threaded rod that goes the whole way through that front end that keeps this locked onto the rail. So I have a blunt screwdriver that I'm going to use to get that out. And the thing you want to be very, very careful is uh, to not slip while you're doing this because you will scratch the paint. So I just uh, put my thumb right on it here and I just very carefully back that out. And once you get it about a quarter of the way out, you can just do it with your hand. And then this piece pops right out, set that aside, and now the laser sight pops out. So um, you can sort of see here, uh, I was really constrained by the size of the inside of this thing. Um, it did not really have as much space as I would have liked. So it's kind of ugly, but uh, it does the trick. It's kind of a crude little battery holder that I actually keep these rubber bands around to sort of keep pressure on those batteries. And then that connects to the laser sight, which is down inside. The whole interior of this piece has been hollowed out. Um, I do have the attachments to go on the front of the laser. I have to track those down, um, but I do have them here somewhere. So um, you swap those batteries out. I put some fresh ones in there for you, and just sort of push that back down, and it slides on and off. So set that aside. Now the last piece to take off here is um, the silencer in the front and that is two hex bolts right here and again you want to be careful not to scratch the paint um, so be careful not to uh, slide if you're holding any tools onto this part and um, sort of back those out and uh, this right here is where I did that extra engraving where it it used to say made in Idaho and now it says Madeline, which I thought that was kind of cool. So uh, once you undo those two bolts, this slides straight off and this is where that extra sight goes back into. There are magnets embedded in this piece and inside the gun, so that sticks on there pretty strongly. So now you have a sight and then this can be, of course, reassembled back as a standard M6C pistol. Um, actually, I want to show you just a little bit about how to reassemble the, um, the spring and the firing pin. Um, you first want to take this piece with the battery, or the battery, the uh, magnet, drop that in there first, and take the slide, and there's an opening right about there. You can sort of feel when it's on the track. You push it forward. Now, the rest of the parts go in through this little door in the back here. I take the spring and that firing pin all as one, and there is a uh, there's actually a hole that's down in here. It's part of this track. So I back it up a little bit so I can see that. Push this piece down and sort of feed the end of that pin down in there. You can see the magnet wants to grab that spring. So I get it sort of halfway popped in there and then this little container or this little uh, cover uh, just goes in right there at the end and you pop that pin right back in. And now you've got your spring loaded. So um, I'll have it all completely assembled of course when you receive it. Uh, but it also comes with the display base. So the display base is pretty nice. You have the pistol that fits right on there along with the uh, magazines. So it's, uh, it's a nice display, pay, uh, display piece. Um, got the engraving on the, on the uh, base. And um, so uh, I think I think that's it. That's that's about it, it in terms of how it works. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy.
You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.